boring. Boring! Don't worry, Lilacore. We're going to look around a little bit more. It will no longer be boring. There will be combat. There will be adventure. There will be mm. us not falling victim to traps, at least Deadpool. hopefully. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when mm. last we left off, mm. there may be a slaver or two still lingering about. And we do need to be careful, because there are going to be traps absolutely everywhere. Let's move over here and very cautiously have a look around. You're going to detect traps exactly and illusions. I really should get more points in detecting illusions, uh... Now that I think about it. Anything in here? No, this room probably had a guard or two in it at some point, and they're all gone. So instead, we'll just look around here. There are two things that can be looked into. Anything here? No. What about over here? Any traps at all? I'll just have you wait there for a moment. Aha! One trap. And it is gone. Over here really wasn't anything worth having a look at. What about over here? Ooh, we have a lightning bolt at long last. Not that I'm happy to see that we have a lightning bolt, because lightning bolt is a very dangerous spell, mainly for me. I usually fire it off at completely the wrong angle and hit my own party with it. But then again, as we've seen, the AI does that as well. So it's a double-edged sword, as it were. We'll put all of these away. We'll leave a lightning bolt out. We do have a lot of things here. Lucky I'm here. Indeed we are! We'd have fallen victim to that trap. Must gather your Let's go over here. Oh, hello! There's a guard you here. You're going to be dispatched very quickly, quickly, because you're surrounded by all of the fighters. Had thee! And you're gone. Yep. I that was quick. For now. We have all of this. You can grab that. Very well. You are over encumbered, so we'll have you pass that over. There we go. Much better. You can put this here, this here, this here, this here. And we have that to identify at some point. It looks like a really magical cloak. You have a problem? No, not at all. Also, I don't think we can get to Missy. Missy is in a place that we can't access. Mm. We can look at the boat, I think, though. This building is a ship that was run aground and has been built around since then. I think we're pretty much done here, so let us leave. And hopefully no random events will occur as we're walking around, whereupon we get attacked and killed. I'm sure the guard will come to our aid. The guard will likely not come to our aid at all. Not to mention that we're quite a distance away from the guard now. Saving is a good idea, I think. We did pretty well in getting out of there without falling victim to any more traps. There we go. And in we go. To report on our success. Nobody's going to say anything. Nobody's going to react to all of the uh, people that were killed. It's business as usual, although you might be out of a job now. Just saying you're probably out of work. Hello, how are you? Let's say hi. I will always be grateful for your assistance. You have completed the task, I see. I can't tell you how overjoyed I am that so many children were rescued, and that nobody will face slavery here again. <sighs> At least for a while. I am not naive enough to think that the slavers will not return. I shall watch for them, however, and fight them if I can. You have done more than was required of you, and for that, you have Hendak's most humble thanks. I have collected some of Lelithan's more valuable items here for you. I hope this is at least some small reward for the good you have done. We got a lot of stuff there! And we got a level up for Baconia, which we're going to take right now. She gained two hit points! But more importantly, she gains an additional 4th and 5th level spell, and lots of save reductions, which is nice. Yes, it is. Let us have a look at those spells that we can prepare. We have a few things here. Flame Strike is a pretty good one. Flame Strike is really good. Slay Living is also really good. If the uh, person that's hit by it fails, they just die. 
it's quite good, but I think we'll go with the more reliable Flame Strike. And as for a spell here, I feel that maybe free action may be a good one to have ready. I am yeah, it seems pretty good. We got a lot of stuff here. We got this sword, which is pretty good. And we also got this plate mail. Hmm. It's quite nice. Can we sell anything here? Haven't spoken to of you course. yet. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Ah, hello, my dear lady. You do look so delicious that the mere thought of wrapping my tongue around you inflames my mind with feelings of desire. Who are you and what do you want? My name is Sylvanas de Rios, and all I want is to be entwined by your arms in the embrace of sweet passion for a fortnight. All right, that's enough. Now go away. It saddens me, but if it must be so, I shall worship my goddess from afar. Farewell, my goddess. We're never talking to you ever again. Let's leave, shall we? There are a few things that we can sell, and sell we shall. There's a lot of stuff, actually, we can sell. And there's only one place that's good for selling things, and that is the Adventure Mart. Okay, there are many other places we can sell things, but the Adventure Mart is one place that we know, and we'll push you out of the way as we head over to Joaquin's Promenade, and then I think we'll go over to the uh, Bridge District, because we want to do a little bit of uh, exploration there. We have a quest to do, after all. Oh, we also want to go to the Graveyard District and hand over a teddy bear, but we'll do that when it's dark. It's not dark right now. Over here we go, past all of these people. There are lots of places that we could go and sell things. There's a weaponsmith here. There's somebody's former home. There's an armorer. There's another home. There's an inn. There are just lots of places. But for now, we'll head into here and give these people more of our business. Hello, how are you? Ribald Bartman at your service. You indeed have stuff that we're interested in, but more importantly, you have uh, lots of money that we're interested in. So let's sell all of these and get quite a bit of coin. We could even sell that. Considering that we only have one wizard, there's no harm in selling that. No harm at all. Look at all the loot that we're getting here. Some people wouldn't pick up all these things. I do. And we got nearly 2,000. In fact, we got over 2,000 from selling all of these. And that's pretty neat. We'll close the container for now. What do we want to get rid of? We can get rid of this. We can get rid of that. We don't need either of them. We can get rid of uh, this armor, this, the Winter Wolf Pelt that is worth 150. It seems like they're not worth as much here. That's fine. More armor to get rid of. Yes, picking up all this splint mail really isn't worth a lot in the long run, but every single gold coin does help. Do you have anything that we want to get rid of? Do we want to keep this many composite longbows plus one? We'll get rid of one of them. You have... Ooh, that's a nice bow to just keep, so we'll keep that. And I think we're pretty much done. Dagger plus two don't need a dagger plus two. We could spend a little bit of money and get some things identified, but it's actually more economical for us to rest a few times in an inn and use the goggles of identification. So we'll do that instead. Let's go back to uh, look at the wares available. There are no plus two battle axes, which is a shame. Could do with one of them. Or hammer plus two. That really effective staff. There was a hammer, I believe, that was pretty... Uh, yes, Vorox Fist deals electrical damage. Not really interested in electrical damage. Electrical damage is not going to help us against trolls or anything like that. Lots of stuff here. That looks like a suit of studded leather plus two. It does indeed, but while it's unidentified, he'll only give me one gold for it. Also, here is something that uh, just deals damage. It's not a bad ring. This is also not a bad ring. Plus one to saving throws and plus one to armor class. 
Not bad. But in general, we're pretty much done here. Yeah. We'll save our money. Unless we buy some things from you. I forgot how expensive everything you had was. If memory serves, it's really expensive. We could get that sword. We could get this halberd that is pretty good if you're really strong. Plus one strength, but minus one intelligence and wisdom. If I was using halberds, that would be pretty good. Actually, it is generally pretty good because I am using uh, two-handed. It's more things like this that I want, though. I want things like that. And things like this. Definitely want that. This sword is not bad. This sword's actually really good for the magic resistance. So I'll consider that. And the shield as well. The shield actually reduces your strength, but it does reflect beholder rays. That may be useful another time. Mental note. Keep our eyes peeled for things that may be able to reflect beholder rays. Probably going to be quite useful. Let's leave. We need to go to the bridge district and uh, look for somebody wearing red. To be fair, a lot of people are going to be wearing red. It's not go- Ooh, actually, before we do that, there's something else we could do. There's something else we probably should do, actually. Spend- Emma, I'm watching your back. No, God damn it! No, not now! Ah! Ah! Hexad? I'm fine. Let's just... Let's just continue. That's a lot of smoke for someone who's fine. I'm just a little singed. Leave me be. No, I don't think so. What happened? The cloak's magic faltered. For a moment, I was exposed to the sun. It stopped working? Do you know why? No, it's... Worrisome. Yes, that is rather worrisome, isn't it? That's very worrisome. We don't want you to burn up. Definitely not. Let's go somewhere briefly as a detour. Let's go to the government district, shall we? Over here, we could have a conversation with the Council of Six. Whatever I think want. somebody in here will be able to do something about the fact that we can't cast magic out in the open. Be merry, friend. Greetings. You're known to me, or your deeds are known to those I serve. I think I should introduce myself. I am Medine. I represent one of the masters of the Ath Catla Order of the Cowled Wizards. He seeks to employ you in a matter of some urgency. The Cowled Wizards? They are the ones that arrested Emoin. I would be very interested in speaking to them about that. I do not know anything about that. I represent one of the wizards, as I said, a Master Tolgarius. Perhaps you could speak to him of this Emoin? Very well. How do I go about meeting this Tolgarius fellow? He will be most pleased. Master Tolgarius can be found at the government building beside me. You may go within. Do not tarry over long, my friend. Oh! We may you know, be able to get a lead. Always said I was sharp and edgy. <laughs> he was such an ass. Also, there's a small child here that wants our attention. We'll be talking to the child eventually. Let's go in. There's somebody we need to look for. I think it might be Corneal. Corneal is uh, the one, if you're the right person, that we can bribe. Um, Let's have a conversation. Speak up. Speak up. What is it you wish? You're obviously out of place here. So unless you have pressing business, I'm very busy and do not wish to be bothered by such as you. What is your purpose here? What branch of government are you with? If it is any of your concern, I am saddled with the clerical upkeep of mystical regulation. Magic is restricted in this land, and rightfully so. Mages are dangerous deviants. But I've seen plenty of mages in this city, and they don't seem to have any trouble from the cowled wizards. I'm sure you are mistaken. The mages you speak of are either members of the cowled wizards, or have proven themselves... Ahem, ...worthy of a license to use their magic here within the city. And how do you prove yourself worthy of a license? Well, for one, you must make a monetary... ...sacrifice. After that, we will allow you to use magic in the city. Should you prove to be deviant, you lose your rights. And just how much is this 
monetary sacrifice exactly? 5,000 gold pieces, no less. And should you prove unworthy of the right to use magic and arm, your coin is not returned. 5,000 gold pieces? Fine then, here you go. Ah, I see. Very well then, my lady. You and your companions will have the right, for now, to cast magic within the city. Do not abuse the privilege, or you will lose it. That was something I wanted to get around to doing at some point. We now have the right to yeah. cast magic anywhere we like. Of course. We could go out into the government district and cast spells willy-nilly all over the place, provided we don't go around uh, killing every single person we see. If we go around setting all the buildings on fire, I'm pretty sure the cowled wizards will have something to say. Mainly, stop it. Hmm. We're going to talk to you later. I was mainly popping over here to uh, get that uh, permit to cast magic, and while I'm thinking yeah, about it, so. we'll talk to you later as well. That kid will still be there later on. We're going to go to a district we haven't been to before, and look for a person dressed in red. Let's go to the bridge district. You have been way late by I thought something might happen. We have some slavers, and quite a few orogs. That is not fun, yes. especially oh, considering the fact right. that Edwin is right next to one of those orogs. Let's start fighting, shall we? We have nothing really that we can cast that will help apart from this. Let's see if that works, shall we? These enemies are not going to be that tricky, though. At this point, we are quite tough. Hexat has been hit, though. Hexat being there is kind of bad, so we're going to have Hexat move out of the way, and we'll just slowly slice our way through the ranks, because let's face it, Orogs aren't too dangerous for us at this point. That said, you're taking a few nasty hits, because if there's one thing that Orogs can do, it's that when they do hit, they hurt. But they don't hit that often. Brilliant. Quite a lot of gold here. Quite a lot of two-handed swords as well. And a spell scroll or two. This is an encounter that I have avoided because I haven't gone to the bridge district. Let's pick up all of these. Anything else? I just can't carry a anymore. magic short sword or two. What is it now? I'm pretty confident that Edwin can get those identified. So we'll do that. Let's have a look. Yep, plus one short sword, plus one short sword. Plus one arrows. They will go to the pile you. of arrows that you uh, you're carrying. That is once we've made a little bit of space. We'll also need to go to the graveyard district at some point and hand over that teddy bear. When it's dark. Have to keep reminding myself of that. May end up forgetting. I'm busy, okay? Mind I'm busy. Your you're going to just heal with uh, that potion there. You don't really need to heal desperately, but using a uh, potion of healing wouldn't go amiss. Anything to look at here? No, nope. we're pretty much done. Let's keep moving, shall we? The sooner we get to the bridge district, the better off we'll be. We were part way there. Greetings, citizens. I trust you'll be keeping your weapons at your sides. I should hate to have to run you by the garrison if anything should happen. What are you implying? I don't take kindly to intimidation. Keep your temper, or I'll run you in. I'm not taking any chances with anyone. There's been too much death around here as it is. I'm warning everyone so as to get the word out that there are guards on the streets. We've had a... a... string of killings, and I don't want any more happening. Bandits or such, no doubt. I've had my fair share of attacks as well. Bandits, I can understand. They are easy enough to figure out. What's happening here is... it's murder. But not like I've ever seen. A disgustingly sick person out there. And I simply don't have the manpower to protect everyone. He's been kidnapping paupers, sometimes in the alley where they sleep. Why would someone prey on the poor? What could they have to take? Nothing. They have nothing to take. He kills them, and that is all. Not only is it pointless, but he does it in as painful a way as possible. It's... it's sick. He flays them... alive. There has been blood all over the area. Little Faraji, a local urchin, found the latest victim. I hate to think of a child seeing that. Enough of this. I must go about my rounds. 
If you find any information about the murders, be sure to let me know. Don't go looking for trouble, though. I have enough problems with walkers and beggars. Old Ramper was damn near killed, and a street woman in the area, Rose, was plain lucky. Don't be like them. Oh yes, we brave monsters, flaming fists, set of assorted minions, only to fall to a sneak feast with an overfondness for flesh. Excellent deduction. Do not be overconfident, Edwin. We do not know the identity of the person committing these murders. And so, when we come back, we have a rather large area to have a look at. We have the Balthus Estate, we have the Five Flagons Inn, Merchant Square, the Tanner Shop, Delasar's Inn, the Temple of Helm, another one, a derelict house, and the Estate of Sir Farad. We're going to be doing quite a lot of looking around. There's also the odd container to have a look in as well. And remember, we can cast spells wherever we like now. Have you nothing else oh, to do we have Fireball, and we're not going to be using it. Not in an open area like this, oh no. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Oh, the Bridge District. A place you can completely overlook if you don't have a quest that brings you here. But we're not going to overlook anywhere. The changes, but the pools within are always the same. Are you including yourself there, Edwin? I didn't think you were. You weren't. Later. <laughs>